guys, my name is Sophia the Shadow Hunter, and today I'm doing my book review on Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. The illustrated edition by Jim K. Now, I enjoyed this. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I've been wanting to read this since the end of last year. And as you guys know, I just got my hands on it a couple weeks ago. And by the time I got to reading it, I wasn't really into reading it. So I enjoyed it. It had beautiful pictures. It took me like five days to read it. It should have only taken me like three because how small. I mean, it's only like under 300 pages. But I was just not feeling into the Harry Potter. And I wish I was because I would have loved it. And it wasn't, it was a bad book. You know, I love Harry Potter and the other story and I enjoyed, enjoyed rereading it. So I might have to end up rereading it again before I read the second and third version. We will see. I don't know if I better get my hands on these editions again, but I hope I can because it was really neat to see it with the pictures. And I thought some of the pictures were really neat and cool. So I like this. Let me guys know if you thought there's any differences in between this and the old version. Um, I think I saw a little bit of difference. I don't know, maybe it was because I forgot. It's been such a long time since I read it, but I did reread the Harry Potter series. Maybe about a year, year and a half ago. So let me show you some of the pictures. This is the horse out in the woods. It's got beautiful, beautiful pictures. And I'm trying to stop if I want to buy these because I really want to. And I found some for really cheap. And I'm just not sure if I want to do that. Chapter 1, The Boy Who Lived. So let me guys know what you thought about this book. I'd love to know. Here's Albus Dumbledore. I just love the whole Harry Potter story. It's so heartwarming and fun and friendly. And re reminds me of kind of when I first found these books. Because I only read, I read them when I was like 13. And so I read them kind of older. But I still really enjoyed them. There's the one in the Quidditch field with all the fire and the birds. There's Hermione, Hermione, the wand. So I really enjoyed it. I just, you know, I wish I was in more of the mood for it. But I went ahead and finished it because I spent so many days on it and I was getting behind on my reading. So I was like, well, I gotta go ahead and get this done. So the, it was a beautiful illustration, beautiful pictures, and I love the story. Um, so anyway, I do still plan on reading the other editions when they come out. Um... I was really working on reading what I want to read, what type of books I want to read. Right now, I'm reading the historical mood, and I should not start reading this now. Which, of course, I wish I could have read it when I really wanted to be reading it, which was around Christmas time. And now it's the new year, and it's still kind of cold. But I'm really into my history books right now because I missed reading them, because that's the ones I enjoy particularly reading. So again, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know down below in the comments below and what you thought about this book. And I'll see you guys next time in our video. Goodbye.